there are um, oops hello everybody and welcome welcome to today's session good to be here good to see you and again I apologize for uh, having to uh, postpone and then cancel um, our last session on um, Saturday which turned into Sunday and Monday and so on so it's good to be back and um, thank you for your warm wishes all right for those who don't know what I'm talking about <laughs> welcome and thank you for thinking of me all right just let me know in the chat box uh, where you are my name is Nellie Deutsch for everyone and uh, I'm based in Toronto but I travel a lot I'm going to be um, in Paraguay in a couple of uh, days so um, I guess the sessions will be from there all right so we've got uh, Prince Edward Island <laughs> okay we've got Canada Iran hello Mitra Guatemala excellent Bahrain United States Kansas Philippines Wow look at the diversity Argentina India did I miss anybody Egypt let me know if I missed anyone any country that's here represent now we're not really representing countries are we okay that's just uh, of interest because of technology but I'm sure one day it won't matter to anyone uh, where we are okay I've added a um, poll okay I hope you can see it let me know in the chat box if you're able to um, access it with a thumbs up so I can see that you're uh, able to use the uh, emotions there okay the smileys okay so is learning organized um, one person says no okay there are 18 right now uh, not everybody has voted so I'll let you do that <clears throat> you have no control Pollard um, okay can you explain what you mean by uh, you have no controls I haven't given you any that's true the question is whether you can see the um, hello is male and where are you from oh but you voted okay great but I think somebody's maybe having problems. All right. You can all see the poll back key. Hmm. I wonder why. Okay, you'll see it. It should be in front of you. But you know what? It might be at the bottom left-hand side. In any case, the question is, is learning organized? Okay, thank you, Diane. Okay, and um, it doesn't matter. 14 people voted, but it's still pretty much um, on the side of yes it's organized okay and uh, I'd like you to think about it as we go and perhaps um, you can uh, explain what you mean okay um, this is going to be a talk uh, I hope a very brief one and that you'll be doing most of the um, of the work okay that's how I organized it the question is whether learning is organized because I organized it for you but did I really organize it for you so going back to what do we mean by learning okay once again I'm sure we all have uh, slightly different interpretations we view things differently session link and YouTube yes I usually do Hamid <clears throat> I, um, I record all of these classes and generally I um, I do it in such a way that your names don't appear for those who don't want it made public that way okay uh, these are some of the uh, points we'll be taking up with copyrights you know do I have a right to record this class without everybody's written permission and then add it to YouTube okay these are um, copyright and uh, privacy points that I think we should um, discuss in any case uh, just let me know okay learning what is learning for you K 
Okay, what do you mean when you say learning? What exactly do you mean? Changes. I'm talking about really, Cheryl, what you mean. Okay, not what it says. Not what it says uh, in the literature or what others say. When you say the word learning, I'm learning. I'm not learning. What is, you know, what do you specifically mean? Hello, Muhammad, gaining knowledge. So, Diana, when you say I learned something, I gained information, okay, I gained knowledge. Knowledge to do what? To use it, to, you know, listen to it, understand it. When I'm thinking, I'm learning. Okay, Hamid. Okay, so it's not really a philosophical question. It's a very practical question. I think we all use so many terms, um, you know, in a generic way, but do we really know what we're, you know, do others know what we mean? Okay, so we get this a lot from our students when students in class say, I didn't learn anything. I'm not learning. Okay, and, I, and, and, and then I correct them and I ask them, what do you mean by learning? And then they say, Either they didn't understand or uh, they don't know what learning is. In other words, uh, I didn't get any new information. Okay, so new information perhaps on old information. Being able to use what, I, yeah, exactly, Becky. Okay, I think that's, um, that's what we're after in most cases. And do we know when it happens? And, and that's the question. Is it an organized process? In the brain, do we organize it? Okay, these are some relevant questions. Hello, Teresa, good to see you. Okay, thank you. And Hamid says, when a student goes out of class <laughs> from the door, not windows. <laughs> Is that an expression, Hamid? <laughs> okay, when you tell them to leave the room and they don't go out <laughs> through, the, through the window, you know they've learned, and they go out through the door, you know they've learned something. Yeah, okay, that's cute. Yeah, okay. Um, there's a great book that I'd like to share uh, with you. It's by uh, Richard Meyer. Okay, the book is Multimedia Learning. It's an excellent book. It, he wrote it in 2003, and then it's been updated in 2009. It's a great book because, and you can find him, uh, Richard Meyer. You can find him on the internet. He is a cognitive psychologist, and that's what he's been studying. He's been studying throughout all these years uh, what learning is and how we can help our students facilitate it in the classroom or through our engagement with them and help them uh, with it, okay? So it's about uh, instructional design and using multimedia, all right? So I think you'll enjoy that. Okay, so we're interested in creating online courses. And the question is, what do we choose for the platform? Okay, and these are various free Okay, Moodle is free. All these are perfectly free. And what do we choose? It's confusing. It really is confusing. Because if you're going to go around trying everything, you will have wasted a lot of time and uh, come out pretty frustrated. How many of you, if you can list, how many of you have um, either learned or taught in... Uh, one of these okay just give me a thumbs up and then you may write which one did you find the best for you as a teacher so there's one thing as a learner another thing as a teacher because we want to facilitate learning for our students we want them to be able to and you're right those of you who said use the information um, in other instances, not just for tests or to repeat. Okay, so it's actually going beyond the uh, repetition stage and into the transfer and use. Well known. Okay, Hamid, so I see some of you Moodle. And Mitra said that um, never use it as a teacher okay so uh, it's good to have experience as a learner but your work is going to be in choosing a platform so the um, 
PowerPoint presentation is available. You'll see in a minute. We're going to be working on the PowerPoint together. All right. So obviously, uh, how many of you think that learning is um, listening to someone talk? Okay. Give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. Is learning listening to someone talk? Is there any learning going on? Yes, no, maybe. You know, think of your own experience. Okay, always your own. Okay, I see that um, a few say yes, most say no. Depends on the talk. Okay, we all know what happens to the brain, and it usually happens at night while we're sleeping. Okay, that's when information is processed, and um, you could say that that's when learning takes place, when it's processed in the brain. All right, for some it is. Okay, we'll see. We'll see what you dream about. You can tell me next time if you remember your dreams. Yes, exactly, Monica. It's an internal process. That's right. And external is how we get it. Exactly. It doesn't originate. Well, maybe it does. Maybe it's all there. <laughs> maybe our brain has everything and it just uh, wakes it up when we get the external information. Uh, obviously, this is an open area. Psychologists and scientists are still studying. Okay. Uh, this is what you're going to be doing this week. You're going to be researching uh, different kinds of uh, course management or learning management systems. Okay, so get ready for that. You're going to be sharing the information. You're going to find out the benefits and, of course, the drawbacks of some of these course and learning management systems. I'm just going through some of the things. So the task of the week will be to conduct research, fill in the chart, and share the results of your findings. Sounds easy enough, right? But that's not all. And let me try and see if I can um, get the, uh, the full PowerPoint presentation. Okay. So let me go to the beginning. All right. Uh, the name of the session is Course Management System. Now, if learning is not organized, then it's up to the instructional designer or the teacher, whoever that happens to be, to um, manage the course so that learning may be, or at least the external, as somebody mentioned information, will be organized in such a way to facilitate learning. So we're talking about creating courses, with IQ is our aim, but let's see if that's where we want to go. So what do you need in a course management system? Okay, I mentioned a few things, but what do you need? Yeah, when you say, uh, Professor Oliver, that learning brings about change in behavior and skill, you are definitely right from day one. <laughs> okay, that is so true. Uh, a platform objectives. So you need it to have a platform to add your objectives to have a system, an area for faculty posting of class materials such as course syllabus. That's right. That's what you want. You want everything organized there. And that's why it's called the course management system. You also want to add tasks. You want to motivate your learners with, I guess, socially engaging tasks. Okay. Next, who is it for? Who is the course management system for. Notice I said who. All right, who is it for and who is the learning management system for? Are they the same? Notice this is called a learning management system. Now these are just terms, okay, for students, for teachers. There's something that I added at the beginning called soul. What is soul? Yeah, they're used. That's right. Now, don't forget these um, terms started with 
tech people, not with educators. LAM, very good. Learning activity, that is so much better, Yolanda. Excellent, that's right. Learning activity management system. Or maybe, is it learning activity or is it uh, maybe uh, something else? Okay. Teachers, learners. Yeah, that's what you would think, Mitra, right? All right, so soul, for those of you who didn't get it, uh, soul. What is soul when it comes to uh, learning? I'll give you a hint. Uh, the L stands for learning. And I think this term might be better. It's a new term, very new. It came with the hole in the wall idea. That's right, with a hole in the wall idea. Um, and Professor, Me that's right, Sugata, Mitra, that's right. That's right, Yolanda, exactly. And it stands for self, very good, Cheryl, self-oriented learning environment. Okay, and the question is whether that's possible too. Okay, depending on what we think of, uh, thank you, Nisha. Good to see you. Okay, what are some examples of course management systems, or learning management system for that matter, since uh, they're used interchangeably, which is fine because it makes no difference. They're still the platforms, okay, they're platforms uh, for courses, okay, I'm not sure that they're platforms for learning, but they're definitely platforms for courses, okay, so maybe we should just call them courses okay course platforms a place to house them okay Becky mentioned Moodle all right um, this is something that uh, is definitely the basis for any course management system and that's discussion forms oh there's no sound for you Let, let's see if the sound is working well let me just um, go in and fix that it might be too low I'll raise the bar okay let's see if that works better testing and yeah it is kind of low isn't it no seems to be fine now I guess I have to raise my voice again let's see if this is any better is this any better oh yes this is much better all right I changed my um I, sometimes it's this one sometimes the other one Should be better is it yeah, okay. Now you can't hear me? What do you mean? First you heard, now you can't. No, I can see the bar, it's going really high. Oh, it's okay now, it took it, a, I guess the transition was there. All right, so this is uh, comparing Moodle, I don't know why it didn't come out, but this is comparing, um, well, you tell me. Okay, let's see. Uh, if you can tell me which is what, okay, because it didn't come out in the, uh, okay, which one, this is A, and this will be B, tell me which is A and which is B, okay, all right, and, all right, so which is A and which is B? A and B both have discussion forms. A and B both have virtual classes. A and B both have upload capabilities of audio, video, and office files of different kinds, of course. Only B has a rich editor. A does not. You can upload images to B, but you cannot upload them to A, and the grading system is only available in B. It's not available in A. So I'm sure you guessed by now right so uh, let's put this in the middle so what is your verdict let's see b is moodle and a all right that's right monica good for you all right so b is actually moodle okay so let's uh change that okay it's moodle
and a is was IQ. Which are two different platforms. Okay, there we go. All right. So the question is, if you had to choose between the two, which one would you choose as is right now? Which one would you choose? Depending, of course, on your needs, right? But which one would you choose? Noodle. You know why noodle comes out, by the way? Because of, because of the spelling, the speller, the spell checker. It, it, I don't know why it's, it does that. Right, so it's uh, Moodle. Okay. There is a noodle, though. No wait, Becky says. Both for different purposes. Exactly, Monica. Exactly. Okay, so the question is, what do we need? Okay. I'm personally addicted to Moodle, so don't ask me. But I also love the live online classes, which I can have on Moodle anyways. So, okay, that's a question. Yes, Teresa, definitely right. The grading system is very important for the schools, for the organizations. I'm not so sure that it's important for us as teachers. You know, most teachers would probably... By the way, you, how many of you would rather get rid of the grading system? It's just a lot of headaches and it just demotivates students. They hate it, most of them. And I think most teachers would say that the grading system is not for them. It's for the schools, for the parents, for, I don't know, definitely not for them. It's for instance of interactions. Yeah, exactly, Monica. One is... Well, but you can still have WizIQ on Moodle. You can have the live online class notice here on Moodle. Okay, you can have it right here. All right, we'll come to conclusions. I just want to give you the good news. Uh, WizIQ is working currently on a rich editor and um, on uploading images and on the grading system. Okay, so these things will be available. It's just a question of time. Okay, this I'm going to leave for you to fill in in a moment, and that's it. All right, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to share, I'm going to take you to the PowerPoint slides. Okay, so let me just do that. How many of you do not get um, Google Drive or Google in general? Because I know Google is not available in some countries, which is really um, unfortunate because Google's doing so much uh, for education, so it's a shame. So give me a thumbs down if you don't, you can't access. Hello, Denise. Denise, your thumbs up, does that mean you cannot? Oh, you, no, I know. I think it's in, in some uh, Far East countries like China does not have access. They do, do not approve of Google. And I think that some uh, countries, I'm, I'm not sure about, I think Afghanistan does not approve of Google. And I'm not sure about Iran. Go, yeah, I know in Egypt it's fine. So anybody here from Iran? Oh, it is in Iran? Oh, wonderful. Okay, great. So I know there are a few countries I'm not... Okay, so everybody here is okay. That's great. Because what we're going to do is we're going to work... You're going to work. I'm going to watch you. You're going to be working on the document. Okay, so um, I'm going to be screen sharing. So let me take you there. Now, while I'm screen share sharing, maybe, just maybe, some of the uh, features that you see on WizIQ will appear at the bottom left-hand corner. So for example, if uh, the chat disappears and my image disappears, and you only see, okay, the screen, 
you will find everything at the bottom. Okay, so here's the attendee list. I can, see, there it is. I can pop it by going to the arrow. I can pop it back. Okay, now I can unpop it. Same thing with the chat. Okay, there's the chat. Now, if you get kicked out, it may be because of the appellate. I'm using a Java appellate, and if you don't have appellate on your system, it may cause a problem. I'm not sure, but it's something to check. If you're having any problems during the screen sharing process, please send me an email, nellydeutsch at gmail.com, and we'll see what it is. Okay, so that's the chat. I can pop it back in and... Okay, so you can play around with a class. You can pop things in, you can pop things out. Okay, so let's go to the, um, okay, to, oh, I see you're here. Hello. All right, I see you're here now. That's great. Okay, I see some of you. That's wonderful. All right, so this is actually the PowerPoint presentation. And I didn't know how much to add. I thought of adding less, but I wasn't sure whether you were ready for it. Um, but I think you are now. What you're going to do is you're going to try to let go of, uh, you know, your need to have things as they are and start making changes as teachers. Okay, this is really important to model for our students that learning is about socially engaging activities, which means that they can be allowed to make changes on the content. And of course, to add comments. And if you look at the comment box, which is at the top, but it's also in the insert, you can insert comment. And it's also over here. You can also add audio voice comments to the Word documents. So I've added the name, which is Course Management System, and Creating Courses on WizIQ, which is the topic. However, there are places where you can add your input. For example, what do you need in a course management system? As teachers, oops, I see that moved. As teachers, what do you need? Okay, the you can move. Okay, play around. Don't feel that you're disturbing anything. Okay, you can move things around. And you can also add by going into the text. Okay, the text box. And then you can add, okay, further information. So I'll let go of that. You do it on your own. So if you go into insert, you'll find other things that you can add, including video, word art, comments, of course, shapes. You could add a table. You can add a new slide. You could import slides from your system and add that. You can also, and notice here, do everything. Okay, and things are repeated. Insert table is also. Okay, so feel free to uh, experiment. You can also change the background, the layout, the theme, have transitions. All right, so we're going to be working on this first content-wise, but it's up to you. You might want to also make this larger, okay, so it looks better. It looks kind of, okay, so feel free to do that. Examples, okay, so this looks pretty bad, so we might want to do it like that. Examples of, so add. Notice what's up here, a line, okay, you can put it in the middle to the top. Notice here you can uh, add spaces before paragraphs, decide how you want to add the lots of wonderful things that Google has added to its editor. And this is something to think about when you think of a platform for your courses. Maybe, just maybe, um, Google Drive is the place for you. All right, in any case, this is for this particular, here again, okay, this is uh, the PowerPoint that you saw, okay, comparing. Course management system, and everything else is right here. Okay, this is, of course, your assignment. Oops, there's a 
See, you can also edit. Look, the R is missing. It says there's no R. So feel free to um, do just that, okay, to make any changes that need to be made because one of the students, the teacher, anyone is not perfect. And learning together is really important because we can learn one another. Now you ask me, but how do, I, how do we know who made the changes? Well, you can go into history. Okay, this is like a wiki. I don't know if you're familiar with wikis. So you go into file at the top left. And then you can download the PowerPoint as a PowerPoint later on when we're finished or at any time. You can also um, work on it on your computer. You can also download it as a PDF. But what's really important is the fact that you can check the history by going into C Revision. Let me click on that. So you can see all the different revisions and who made them. You can see that Ariana made a change here. All right, so you can always know what's going on. In addition, I want to take you to, let's get rid of that. I want to take you to the top right. Okay, notice what's on the top right. On the top right, you have a way to present this. From the beginning, you can also present it. And there's also a chat. We can chat, but only if you're on your Google. Okay, you have to be on your Google to be able to chat your Google account, your Gmail account. In addition, next to the comments, there's notifications. So you can be notified every time somebody makes a change. And if you don't like it, you can tell them or change it back. Okay? And the comment box, keep it open. You can also share this. Okay, even though it's available to everybody, you can share it. Take the link and share it with your friends. Now I wanted to show you something else and that's research. On This is a PowerPoint presentation. It's not a Google Word document. But in the Google Word document they also have what's called a... Okay, you can also get an audio. Um, for research. Okay, it's not available here, but it's available if you want to do some research. Okay, I'm sure they'll put it here, but not right now. Okay, so um, let me share the link with you once again. So you can join us, those who haven't. I see only three have. So I'm going to stop the screen sharing. Go back to the live class and pop up everything there pop myself there we go and place get the attendee list and pop it in get the chat and pop it in and everything's popped in and in place okay this is what it generally looks like now let me share the uh, link with you in the chat okay there's the link so that you can go there now Low links are active. Oh, where are they not active? Cheryl? Oh, of course, when I was screen sharing. Is that what you mean? Okay, what you need to do is click on copy and paste. You mean in the chat? It should be very clickable. I don't know why it may not be in your system but it's called choosing a platform and I'm going to be going back as you work I'll be going back so you can see what everybody's doing oh you think you're in all right you know what's wonderful I remember when I started uh, you know at the beginning of my uh, involvement in online uh, learning which was uh, in actually with Moodle in 2003 and and you know you you just clicked and you went here and there and I kept thinking how did I get here I mean what brought me here what brought me here where am I you know and and 
once I stopped asking, how did this happen? How did I get here? Where am I? Uh, things began to be uh, much easier for me to cope with. So uh, the system works, you know, there's the internet and it works and, and we don't really know how unless we're experts uh, in that kind of system. But otherwise, let's just enjoy it. Okay, so there's the link again. Okay, click on it. And then I'd like everybody to go there and feel free to There it is again. Feel free to start working. All right. So I'm going to be screen sharing. Let me know if you've done anything. Have you edited anything? Give me a thumbs up if you started editing. Edit. Edit means changing. Okay. In uh, Google Drive. Okay. I'm going to ask you a few questions. All right. Thank you, Monica. So give me a thumbs up if you started editing. Editing could mean hello on the document. You're unable to edit. Carol, hello. Um, let's see what we can do. Okay, let me screen share to take you there so you see what I do as you get your questions coming in. And uh, let's see why. You don't have to be in your um, Gmail account in order to edit. But let me make sure that uh, everybody has rights. And I think you should once you click on it. So, um, all right, here we go. So, it, let's see. It here, I made it. So, anyone with the link has the link and access. No sign in required. Okay, so everyone should be able to, has to be able to, it's not even should, has to be able to. Uh, do this. I'm trying to change to make changes. Don't worry about typos. Uh, typos are very normal. We all make them. It doesn't mean that we're less. Other people, that's what's good about uh, Google Drive, that other people can make the changes on the document, okay, in the center here. They cannot make the changes in the chat, okay? Nobody's been able, to, except, uh, of course, some chats where you can edit, like Skype, okay? You can go and edit it, and on Facebook you can edit, but in most um, you can't, which is kind of unfortunate because when we write and we can't make changes and we've made mistakes, that can be very, very unpleasant in some situations, okay? But not on... Google Drive, okay? So you can make your changes right here. So uh, let's see if anybody's made any changes. I see only a few people here. Oh, 18 are here. All right, here. Okay, a total of 18. And I see only two of you are in with your Gmail account. And I see one kangaroo is idle. So that makes it 17. And of course, I'm here, so that's, it should be 20, I think, or 19. Now, with your classes, you're not going to make it, uh, hello, Ishmael, you're not going to make it anonymous. You're going to make sure that your students log into their um, Gmail account so that you know exactly who made the changes. How many of you uh, do not have Gmail accounts? I suggest that you get a Gmail account. Okay, let me check uh, with the class. So how many of you do not have? Okay, let's see. We'll get a poll here. Okay, just to get an idea of how many people. So the question is, do you, if you have, you should go into it. Do you have a Gmail account? I'm sure you're curious too. And then we won't see all the kangaroos.
Okay, I see one person doesn't. And 13 do. What about the... Oh, there are 24 people right now. Okay, the question is for those who came in late. There's a poll out there. But this is the link that... Um, you should be going into on Google Drive. Right now it's open to anyone who has the link to add, uh, to edit or to make changes. Can anyone see my name on the Google Drive? Diana, um, I'm sure if you're logged in as you, okay, we need 23 more people. Changing edit process is giving permission by teacher or the software itself. Um, it's the teacher, Hamid. Uh, the teacher, if let's say you want to get uh, rights and there are no rights, it's not public, then um, you can ask for rights and then the teacher gets emailed, notified that you want rights and the teacher can decide whether to give you rights or not. So it's by name and the teacher can check who you are. If you're one of the teacher's students, you'll get it. If you're not, you probably won't. So yeah, you have uh, full control. Okay, 20 people have responded out of the 24. But you know what? When you ask questions, think of the benefits of adding your questions in the comments area on the Google Drive because there it's going to stay and I can respond at any time. In the WizIQ chat, we're limited to now. Okay, so think about it and try to add your questions um, not in the chat, but on the Google Drive comment area. Okay, the comment area is really precious. And as I said, you can have voice with your students if you're teaching language or your students can't read or they have problems or whatever reason. You can also add comments by voice. Okay, voice comments. And in the MMVC13, we're going to have one of the developers of uh, what's called voice comments. It's an application on uh, Google right now, on Google Drive, voice comments. You can uh, get it. And he'll be talking about that. This is specifically for educators. There are apps on Google Drive just for educators. Okay, I'm going to take away the, um, the poll. Okay, here are the results. Can you see the results of the poll? You can. Wonderful. Because I've never seen them. I don't think they appear in the uh, recordings. And um, I've never been in a class where somebody else did it on WizIQ. Um, for, but if you create a class and you do it, I'll be able to. And that would be great. All right, so I'm going to take that away. I'm going to end the poll. I think that's enough. We've got 22 votes, which is uh, perfect. I'm going to screen share so you can see what everybody else is doing. You want to know more about the voice? Yes, Screencast-O-Matic, but you can only record uh, classes using Screencast-O-Matic on your Windows. Right now, they don't have it for a Mac. So you can't record these uh, WizIQ Live classes um, on a Mac with Screencast-O-Matic. But you can on a PC, which is great. I use Camtasia right now, uh, which is pretty cheap, cheap, $100, $99 for Macs. But you can also use, by the way, uh, if you're interested, if you're using for free, if you're interested in free, which is actually the best, you can use um, a QuickTime player. Okay, I just showed it to you. You can use a QuickTime player, which is really great. And it's completely free, of course, to uh, record these live online classes. Okay, so that's QuickTime. Quick. On, only on, um, okay, this is only for Macs. And it's completely free. It's not the same. I think it costs money or it doesn't work for uh, Windows. All right, so let's, uh, let's take a look at what's happening there. And I'm going to screen share and show you, if you're interested, 
and how the voice, because I love audio. I really can't live without it these days. I feel that uh, connecting online with uh, audio is like, I don't know, being deaf or, and I'm not a very auditory person. I'm more of a visual, but I think because of the online work that I've been doing, I turned, oh, you lost your audio? Oh my gosh. Um, please email me. Okay, I'll write this for those who can hear. Please email me if you lose audio. Okay, we want to know why, what's on your system that's causing it. Email me if you lose lose audio at any time. So again, my email is Nelly Deutsch, that's the easy one, at gmail.com. Okay, that's not the one I'm using in the Google Drive, but that's a simple one that you can... Oop, I made a mistake. Sorry. I forgot to see. My husband would be very angry. Since it's his name. All right. There it is. Okay. All right, Nelly Deutsch. Sorry about that. All right, so let me take you um, to the... Uh, okay. Um, to the Google Drive. See, I'm looking for it. There it is. Okay, great. So, uh, Diana, you mentioned that you didn't see yourself um, on the list. I don't either. I don't know that why that is. That must be a... Maybe I need to refresh. That must be a, a Google thing, right? It wouldn't be a uh, anything else. Google's working quite a bit on improving... Um, what they have for educators. They really do have educators in mind. And I think that's, um, that's something that we have to watch out for and provide them with feedback, of course, because, um, oh, I see you changed the color. That's wonderful. Okay, so let me go back to the drive. That's excellent. Oh, I see people are doing different things. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, great. And I see I lost my connection. Okay, I'm back. I mean, I lost my connection on the um, on the Google Drive. All right. So notice what someone did here. They uh, they changed things. Okay, excellent. They added a diagram of some kind, which is great. Okay, you might want to fix it. Maybe somebody else can fix it. Don't feel like you messed anything up because you don't. Um, you don't mess anything up. Diane, can you try to add to the chat? We'll see if it's working or not. So, hi, everyone. Okay, I'm going to add my chat here. I don't really like uh, the chat. I mean, it's pretty good, but I prefer comments because they stay. The chat uh, does not, and... It doesn't really, I mean, the chat on Google Drive. Okay, let me show you um, how to add voice. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate how to add voice, and then we'll get back. Okay, it only works for the um, Google Word doc. Okay, so this is how it's done. What you do is you first need to uh, add the apps. So I'm going to click on one of my documents. Let's see which one. Um, which one? Okay, let's take this KWHL. Okay, I'm going to click on the right. And when I click on the right of my mouse, I get all these things. And then I get Open With. Under Open With, I will have all my apps. One of my apps is Voice Comments. I can add more apps. Okay, uh, let me do that now so you can see. So when I click on Connect Apps to Drive, there are lots of apps, and I don't need up most of these. I'm interested in education. All right, so I'm going to click on Education. There we go. And these are things that are relevant to me at this time. Okay, and here are the voice comments. Now, because I have it, it will say Rate It, but you will get 
get it, connect. Okay, so you should have here connect. If you're interested in GeoGebra, Gebra or Gebra, you can connect to that. There are lots of wonderful things here that you might want to try out. I tried out this one, uh, the charts. There are also lots of interesting things, and it's going to get better and better. Okay, so uh, there's also Picto. Okay, and that's it for now. Okay, but they will have more. So right now, you need to um, connect to your voice. Okay, let me take that out. So again, right-click on a Word document. Okay, and then open with voice comments. And then here is my recorder. And they're working on it. They're improving it. All right, so this is my the email that I want to use. And then they always ask you to accept. Okay, so I'll accept. It's called one-to-one -one writing. And then there's also a video. I'm going to enable everything. There's also, a, you can watch a tutorial. Okay, right here. If you're interested, there's the tutorial. Thank you Thank for you using one-to-one -one -one writing. writing. Uh, we're really, really excited, excited to, 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 to work, work with you. And that's Edward, so, the man that you're going really to hear. He's a really nice started. guy, and he helps everybody. Trust me, let me do that again. He helps everyone. He is such an awesome person. He will help you. He's Canadian. He's from Waterloo University um, right now, but I think he's uh, he may be in California, too. In any case, so here we are again. I'm going to not watch the video. I'm going to record, okay? But you can watch the video. I'm going to allow. Okay, now, notice what's here. Here's the recorder, so I'll click on it. Okay, hello. If you see it going here, it means that it's going. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this. I can, you can see this is the document. I can highlight things and add to them. And then I'm going to stop, and then I can listen to it. Okay. Hello. Hello. If you see it going here, it means that it's going. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this. I can, you can see this is the document. I can highlight things and add to them. And then I'm going to stop. All right. Now I'm going to click on share and look what happens. Share. It tells me that it's already there. So let's go back and see. Maybe it's not. Maybe they just fit me. So let me open the document and I'm going to share this document with you. I think it's, um, some of you may have it. It's a KWHL document, one of my favorite. I see Susan. All right, I see some of you are already here. Uh, I'm going to make it, um, let's make sure that it's public. It's private right now. Let's anyone with the link so you can hear the, uh, there we go. So what you need to do when you get here is you need to click on the comment and then you get, okay, this is the, uh, and you can reply to it. Okay, that's the, you click on it and you'll hear me again. All right, so um, that's that. I'll share the link with you in the course so you can play around with that. Looks like I may have uh, taken myself off, but there's the link that I uh, that I mentioned. Oops. I think that my computer is um, playing. Okay, so uh, there it is. Okay, there's the link. Okay, Becky and everyone, there's the link to uh, the second Google Drive with my voice comments, and you can play around with that. So. Uh, this is being recorded, so you'll get everything in the recordings plus on the YouTube. But uh, yeah, I'm back. I don't know, for some reason, uh, my system wants to uh, keep improving the uh, memory. Yeah, so you may have lost uh, some of the um, screen sharing part, but you'll get that in the... Uh,
I don't know what happened, but it looks like it started again. That's strange. All right, I don't know what happened, but it looks like this class has just started all over again, which is interesting. You know, I, I love it when technology manages to fool me. <laughs> you know, I say, oh my gosh, I was fooled by technology. So yes, it's starting as if this session is starting all over again. Isn't that strange instead of continuing with what was there? All right, so... Uh, yeah, isn't that amazing? It's starting all over again. The timer has just uh, restarted itself. Um, all right, so we've got a couple more minutes to go. Are there any questions? Because you're going to time machine, right? Uh, because you're going to be working on this um, until our next session, which is scheduled for, I believe, uh, Saturday, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not going to move any of the sessions, but starting um, in September, we're going to have a session for uh, the uh, two hemispheres, since uh, we've neglected Australia, and um, maybe have two sessions a week. We'll see how things go. You want me to be slow? So the assignment is to make changes. Yeah, the assignment is to make changes and to fill in the parts that are not filled in and to do research on the different kinds of uh, course and learning management systems. So actually, um, let me just um, look for it. I don't have to do it like this. Let me just search for um, this one. This is uh, something that you'll have, okay? Choosing a platform. All right, so uh, the idea is uh, what are some of the benefits and the drawbacks to um, all of these. And notice what's here. Blog is also included as a course management system. You can do it the way I did it with WizIQ and Moodle. Caroline, check each of these. They're all completely free. Okay, so you shouldn't have any problems with it. And you can create the same kind of... Um, Okay, same kind of grid chart as I have here for WizIQ and Moodle where you can add the different features that you're interested in. Okay, this is really important because you're looking at, not for me, you're, you're doing the research for yourself. You're going to have to decide what's best for you before you make a decision. Uh, Diana, here, did you try it? Did you try the, um, this is where I added my voice. Did you try that one and you couldn't find them? You know why? Because you need to um, enable it on your system. You have to connect. Where it says um, apps, you need to connect the apps. It's called an apps. You're going to love it, especially if you're a language teacher. But any teacher, you got it? Or you do have the apps. So it's, again, right-click of the mouse to, the, um, to get it. But if not, Vincent is going to help us <laughs> because that's, uh, that's what he does. He's a developer and he's interested in, um, you don't understand. So Vincent, okay, there's the support and they'll get feedback and support. They'll get to you right away. Hello, Thomas. Where's the voice? Well, it's on, um, I think, I don't know. Let me try to, um, we've got some time here. Let me extend so we don't get timed up. Even though I've got another session with Jason uh, coming up in a couple of minutes. But let me uh, screen share again. The assignment, the assignment is to finish the, there we go, the Google Drive PowerPoint presentation. So here we are again. Okay, let me, uh, but I'm going to add all the questions, all your answers and everything to the course feed. Okay, and you're invited to ask them there. Let's see if I can find it. Looks like my Google Drive. Here it is. Okay, this is where the voice, the voice, you need to click on comments to get the voice. So click on comments at the top right hand side of this particular. Okay, Google 
Drive. So again, you need to go to click on comments and then you get click to listen to the verbal feedback right there. Okay, let me know if you got that in the chat box so I can get an idea. Okay, did you get that? Okay, so here again is the... Does anyone have the link to the class? To the course for anyone who doesn't have the course link here is the uh, course link called blending and flipping classes with technology I got it okay here it is so listen there's a lot of uh, things to do please feel free to use the course feed in the course to ask questions you can also ask questions on the Google Drive PowerPoint presentation by clicking on comments you can only add text comments on a PowerPoint right now but they're working on that and very soon you should be able to have it on every Google Drive document so um, here is the link once again to the PowerPoint presentation called choosing a platform okay so here it is and feel free to mess around with it as you wish we'll see how well we can collaborate as a group okay here's the link to the PowerPoint presentation okay here we are oh Diana also added no this is the list of apps. Thank you. Thank you, Dad. It's all about socially engaging activities and learning together. So thank you so much, everybody. Join the, Mood, the, uh, the MOOC, the ELT Vocabulary MOOC with Jason R. Levine that's starting in a couple of minutes. And keep asking questions. Keep asking questions. It's all about asking questions. And then you can respond to one another, and I'll do my best to help. Bye for now. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the week. Thank you.